Hi everyone, this is Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with another comparison video. Today we're going to be comparing the C40 AW and the C44 9W. As you recall from last time, I compared the C40 A and the C40 AW. I will not be spending too much time on the AW, I compared that in the previous video. Just a few facts about the C40 AW, just as a recap. This locomotive was introduced in 1990. It was um, unveiled, which featured the new wide safety cab. The car body and exterior of this model has remained relatively the same with the newer Dash 9Ws. So basically, in summary of the last video, it's a, it's a standard cab Dash 8, the same everything except the new safety cab. Now, let's do our focus on the Dash 9W. The C44-9W was a very successful model that was produced by General Electric between 1993 and 2004. The fuel capacity on the Dash 9W was 5,000 gallons. It is powered by a GE7FDL16 prime mover. The engine type is a four-stroke V16 diesel engine. It is turbocharged and has a GE GMG197 alternator. It is powered by direct current, or DC traction, which is powered by, by GE 5G E752 AH traction motors. 16-cylinder engine. It is a diesel-electric locomotive with a maximum speed of 74 miles an hour with 4,400 horsepower. With starting tractive effort of 142,000 pounds and continuous effort of 105,640 pounds. As mentioned before, the locomotive was produced by GE from 93 to 04. GE kept the tradition series nicknames beginning with the Dash 7 series of the 1970s, which that will be a future series. The Dash 9W was dubbed the Dash 9 upon its debut. Part of GE's Dash 9 series locomotives, the C44-9W, shares its frame, high adhesion trucks, 16-cylinder, 7FDL engine, and 752AH-31 traction motors with the GEC 40-9W. But while the more common Dash 9 44CW offers 4400 horsepower, the software in the Dash 9W's engine governing unit restricts its power output to 4000 horsepower. The design has since proven popular with the North American railroad companies, although some railroads like CSX, Canadian Pacific and Union Pacific prefer the AC equivalent, the AC 4400CW. Because of the more stringent emissions requirements that came into effect in the U.S. on January 1st of 05, the Dash 9W was replaced with the production of the ES 44DC. Many of the North American railroads have ordered the Dash 9W, and just to name a few, Chicago and Northwestern, the ATSF, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, Norfolk Southern, CSX, Southern Pacific, Canadian National, BC Rail, which actually had two sets of ditch lights, and the Union Pacific. Norfolk per Southern purchased the Dash 940 CW, the 4,000 horsepower version, in the late 80s to early 90s. The 4,400 horsepower model is just an upgrade of horsepower and pretty much the same locomotive. And the final Dash 9s NS order, as a fun fact, it, they were produced in 2004, and they were the 9900 series. And they would be some of the last Dash 9Ws that were ever produced by General Electric before the ES44DC and ES44AC. So it is with that that we conclude this comparison. I know this was short, but these two locomotives have a lot in common. So the Dash 8W was the ancestor of the Dash 9W. And same with the Standard Camp Dash 8. So pretty much the Dash 8W and the Dash 9W were just the wide version of any of those standard cab locomotives with just the uh, with the new wide safety cab which were mandated by the Federal Railroad Administration. The standard cab dash nine is similar to a standard cab dash eight. It was just Norfolk Southern's version of a C40 dash eight. I believe it was a market thing. I will have to do some um, homework on that one. But just wanted to cover these two wide cab locomotives. And the next request um, that has come in is. Um, Conrail 722 SD80 Mac for the ES44DC and ES44AC comparison. 
The next one after that is the ES44AC and the new ET44AC, which will stop the General Electrics for now. And then we will go into some more of the EMDs. So there are the next upcoming comparisons, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And please check out all the rest of the series that I've got quickly uploaded. So um, thank you guys very much for watching this comparison. I'm Engineer Pat 5290 and I will see you on the next real adventure and the next comparison series. Thank you guys, and may God bless.